Hi everyone, welcome back to Spiritual Growth Tarot. I'm Denise and I thank you for joining me again. Uh, so I have a question from Elizabeth. She wants to know uh, what, let's see, let me read her question. What deal did Pompeo make with the, with the Taliban back in February 2020? Ooh. Um, and, and she wants to look at, she wants me to look at his health. I guess he's lost lots, lots of weight. Um, yeah, he does tend to go up and down, doesn't he? I, but anyway, I'll look at both. <laughs> so let me say, hey, glad you guys are all here with me. And I'm going to drop the camera down and uh, get, this, get this question going. Okay. Okay, so as usual, I'm going to use this little deck, the Maybe Lenamon by Ryan Edward. And first I need to ground in, ground down into my body, relax. <laughs> and open to the forces of love, light, and truth. It's all the same. If I say the forces of love, it's all the same, but the word love is so big, people sometimes take that the wrong way, so <laughs> I'm going for the truth. Okay, what deal, if any, you need to establish whether or not did Pompeo make with the Taliban back in February of last year, 2020? What, if any... What was the deal that Mike Pompeo made with the Taliban? And then I'll, I'll look at his health separately, but let's stick with, I only want the truth. What was the deal, if any? Did he make a deal? And what was it with the Taliban? Okay. Mike Pompeo, what did you do? Money, money, mo money, mo money. Man, we have almost every single money card here. Well, we actually do. The only thing that's missing is that little like revelry card, uh, where you're sitting in a vat of grapes drinking wine. They're sitting in a vat of grape juice drinking wine, grapes and juice, whatever. <sighs> okay, so. A deal, a deal to watch for hidden enemies, but they're the hidden enemy. A deal to watch. I don't have the handshake card here. I don't have the ring card, you know, to show commitment or an agreement. But we do have money. This could be the tree comes in when there's something that has taken root and it's been in place for a long time. There's a system, you know, there's it, it could also be like the the ancestral. Uh, system of the Taliban. I just, I don't know anything about them uh, other than, you know, maybe the uh, danger, the terrorist, the terrorism. But the, these two cards indicate something old and something that's been in place for a long time. If this would be a Taliban leader, this would be the elder, the eldest. 
And these two cards go together with both of those. This would be an elder. This would be the system. But this is also a card of making investments as to something that could last for a long time. But it can also be investing in peace because the, uh, the Lily's card is a, a harmonious card. It is about... Um, as much as, you know, I don't trust Mike Pompeo at all in my mind, right here, these two cards are not too bad. Now, this is a dangerous card. It's also a decision. So he may have been trying to, if there was any type of deal, it might have been to try and create some peace, but then to watch for hidden enemies and watch for obstacles um, th this is a card of observation and giving attention to something. And this is a, a card of opportunity, watching for opportunities to grow financially, wa watching for a lot of opportunities, watching for danger, but also watching out for money and prosperity. I mean, the pig is all about, well, it can be indulgence too. It's usually, you know, just money and prosperity, but it can sometimes be uh, overindulgence. It does have to do with, um, you know, gaining something and having some type of success and you know, just imagine a pig in a sty and being very, very happy and content, you know, with a certain type of a, a, a lifestyle even. And the money is flowing this way. So it could be to watch out for n new, new ways, new, new opportunities to create more money so that it can flow out. And maybe he gets a little cut of everything. I mean, doesn't that make sense with Mike Pompeo? And, and if he made a deal, it would have been with, with an elder. I'm getting that clearly. But the mountain is usually... Well, it can be hidden enemies, but it can also be um, just how to delay something and, and creating a like a barrier. Because it can be, you know, and there are lots of mountains in Afghanistan, right? So you want to watch for hidden enemies in the mountains. Um, and, but then also watching for any, like, obstacles to create money, any barriers in bringing in this transactional, you know, this thing that happens a lot that's transactional by nature that brings in opulence and then pays it out and then and then it may pay it out to two parties, it would, and each one, each one gets a little cut. A little, a small cut. Wow. You know, kickbacks, right? But it's all broken apart now. Broken loyalties. Broken loyalties. So yes, broken loyalties were really important, but yes, I think he did have some type of a deal, but now everything's changed. Yep. So he did. Here's our confirmation that he did. <clears throat> he did have a deal, but it's changed. Changing agreements. Imp but then again, on another level, maybe not. Maybe it's improved uh, agreements, approved relations. Um, 
you know, because this this is a card of just like have having a deal, man. Just having having that handshake deal. Jeez. This guy I swear. Yeah. And something about the needing, you know, caring about having like safe passage, commerce, commerce. So what are we talking about? Weapons, you know, spies, assassins, something's wrong. In this like burden so I guess the challenge of moving goods without the burden you know what you guys I'm probably not the best person at all to ask about this because I don't know enough about the way the Taliban works or the way things work in Afghanistan I just have my I have my, you know, imagination of the way darkness works, and and um, it's all just about the money. And you know, these players that just try to get a, a cut, try to get a piece of everything, piece of the action as it goes. Yeah, I mean, it's all it is all right here. I mean, it's it's just it's all right here. To watch out, in summary, to watch out for ways to, you know, bring the money in. Working with forces in the mountains that could that could hide, but then this deal, you know, it's all about the money. The deal for the money, it all it's all right here, even though as things change. But there are broken loyalties. Things are not working out. And then, you know, like the way these cards came in, this is a broken loyalty here, too, as well. This is not to be trusted. This is guilty, and this is a big burden, but it's also responsibility. And then, of course, all they care about is the the movement now, maybe the movement of um, people, safe passage, things like that, making some money off of that. I wouldn't put anything, uh, you know, um, I wouldn't put anything past him because, I mean, he's grifted off of us taxpayers already, right? I mean, with his partying and charging things, he and his wife are both guilty of that. I don't know why they haven't been charged yet. I guess it's just, there's just still the overwhelm of cleanup on aisle 45, I'm trying to give these people... Um, the benefit of the doubt as much as possible but we'll see as the years pass on by and we're not going to forget but anyway in summary he's definitely guilty of doing something wrong and it has to do with what he cares about and it has to do with these this transactional nature of um, you know this commerce wow Okay, so let's let's look at his health. He does seem to um, go up and down in weight. I mean, I've seen him before look like he was about to explode, and then other times be very you know very thin. So let's see what's going on with his health. Not very thin, but much thinner. Lost weight for himself, you know, <laughs> compared to what was before. I imagine when he was Secretary of State, that must have been very stressful, traveling all around. And then, of course, when he was being investigated and looked into, I, you know, just maybe he's maybe he knows there's an indict, indictment coming down or something. But anyway, let's just look at his let's just look at his uh, health. What is the truth about Mike Pompeo's health? What is going on with him? He, he's in so much fear, his head is spinning. 
Wow. It's like he doesn't know which end is up, it looks like, or feels like inside. Okay. Something dangerous. Well, let me get the cards drawn first, and then I'll frame them up. Where's the health? What is going on with his health? Hmm, okay. Well, so this is the health card here. Here's our theme. He has a, a heart issue that's been, where is my chopstick? Here we go. He has a heart issue that has been a repetitive problem, but it has to do with his own abuse. This is a card of, of abuse. It's a card of doing things, actions, dangerous actions over and over and over again. Dangerous actions that are really important and key to his health. And there's just this opportunity. Sometimes this can be a card of recovery, though. You know, in a health reading, often it's recovery. But then on another level, it could be that he's not eating, you know, maybe he just eats a lot of meat and drinks a lot of um, alcohol, things like that. Uh, but anyway, let's see. Danger is something dangerous and repetitive, and it, it, and it affects his heart. It's, his, it's a heart issue. He gets seduced by this life of, you know, luxury and happiness. And that is, that is affecting his health. It's also affecting his muscular and skeletal system, his lower back. He might, he, maybe he decided to try and lose weight. Maybe he made a decision. Now, here's another whole layer. Could have been the reason why he's lost weight is he could have realized, he could have gone to a clinic and realized he had quite a health problem. And now he's attracted to, he made the decision to exercise. This can definitely be a card of exercise. And, you know, because he's worried about old age, he's worried about, um, you know, he needs to recover. This card depends on the ones around it, though. This, to me, I, I, I feel like it has to do, he's made a decision to exercise, and I... And he's trying to bring in some, some happiness. He's trying to recover. He's trying to get his diet more pure. He's attracted to having more of a pure diet. He's trying to protect his heart, the health of his heart. And he does have, you know, with based on... Um, I would think he would have a good support, a medical support team that helps him. And now, on another level, repetitive stress, dangerous stress, and you know, exercise that's really important to keep out, keep down the stress. So, so, yeah. Okay, let's keep going. I'll just do one more layer. Yeah, he does have help and support. Uh, something broke down. And he didn't, he wasn't doing so well. Yeah, his own, he, he's finally gotten to the point where it's like his own body has betrayed him. Might have just been a little scare. This could also be a colon issue like lower intestine. But he's he's definitely here's another these are the two exercise cards in the deck. 
at least in traditional Lenamon. I yeah, I don't really think the other cards are yeah, yeah, I think it's safe to say. He's doing a little bit of exercise because his body's kind of failing on him. So, you know, I mean this this scythe back here is is a um is is a dangerous card though. But he does have the support team, but his body's his yeah, it's not good. It's not good. There's definitely something wrong. Yes, and of course it's because he had gained so much weight. I think he might have hurt his back. Hurt his back and health and um, might have hurt his back terribly. Had to go to a clinic, or you know, go to the go to the medical center, go to the clinic, whatever. And then they discovered a heart problem and tried to put him on a diet. You know, because we've got the doctor's nurse card here. Yeah, and he's watching. He's they're they're watching him. They're observing him. And so he doesn't do too much, and probably observing <laughs> his, uh, you know, drinking habits as well. And maybe even the travel. Yeah, he's, he's definitely, he's, he's in partnership. It could be a female doctor. This could be his wife. I think this is, yeah, this is his wife helping him out. And trying to not create a big old dangerous situation in the future. This card comes in when there's like a spa retreat that a person can go to, especially with his wife. Oh, and then travel. Yeah, so here's the story. Yeah, in summary, dangerous uh, situation with his heart. Uh, possibly colon. His body started breaking down. I think he hurt his back. And, and, but good medical team, because something's wrong, eating too much, you got to watch it, dude, you got to stop drinking. And, and then his wife said, we're getting out of town, we're, <laughs> we're going on a holiday, we're going to a spa retreat holiday. Maybe even it was a type of a um, holiday where you learn how to eat the right way. And then you make all these, uh, you know, if it lasted a month or so, you could make some, make some, um, you know, changes that would be lasting. And then you go home and try to keep it up. So, okay, so that's it. That's what I'm seeing. And, and um, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> Let me get this uploaded for you. Okay, thanks you guys. Take good care. Bye.